Hello, Namaste and welcome. I hope that you feel great in your body today or if not, that's also completely fine that you take care of your body. You might be doing so if you're watching this video. So we are going to do an exercise today that can help with memory fogs. And this is a bit of a taboo. I think um, women don't really speak about that, but memory fogs are things that are connected to the menopause. And what's good with yoga is when we do the kind of inversions, poses, or when uh, basically the head is down and the rest of the body is upper, we bring the blood to the, to the head and to the brain and we create this kind of alertness and we really stimulate also the memory and doing with the breathing that also helps us to stay relaxed, it's always quite good. Also, it's better to practice this exercise in the morning or at least before a meal because you don't want to have the digestion kind of going when you are doing it. Just a little trick. So let's go into the exercise. So today you can gently come with your hands and your lower legs on the ground, so all fours. And there, it's quite important that you have your hands a little bit turned to the outside so your elbows are slightly bent and you're quite free and especially that you keep some space for your, your chest so you're quite easy there and also of course your breathing your knees can be kind of as wide as your hips or whatever is comfortable but the idea is that you're holding this pose with your belly, <laughs> no, with your deep muscles and that you're really connecting with your breath. So the neck is nice and long and you can shift the weight a bit forward, a bit backwards to check that you have some space for your joints, so your wrists, elbows and shoulders. Also the knees, the hips, quite easy to move, quite free. And really holding everything with your center. So the neck is quite easy as well. You can look a bit on one side and the other side. Really being a bit playful with the weight. If you want to lift one arm to check the other arm that you're quite comfortable, that you're not holding tensions, that you're breathing. Breathe. And gently moving the weight a bit forward, creating space for your spine. You can bring your toes on the ground and really breathe. And when you exhale, you can push with your hands and imagine that your sit bones are flying to the sky, heels falling back without forcing, just creating space for your spine. The head is completely relaxed. Joints are easy, the heel bones falling back, you're breathing, check that you're breathing and gently free your knees to bring them on the ground again, to check that you have some space, some mobility, some freedom, breathing, you can't say it enough, <laughs> and one more time maybe if you're comfortable. Pushing with your hands, but the seat bones, the pelvis flying to the sky, so there is some lightness. And you can create space for your spine. The shoulder blades may be coming a bit closer together. The head is completely relaxed. Notice your breath. The heel bones falling back. Really listening to your body and gently bring your knees on the ground. Feeling your body, maybe bring your toes and just resting a moment into child's pose to relax your arms. And this pose, the child's pose, is really good as well to relax your and release your nervous system. Enjoy the breathing, the blood that has been flowing to the brain. Notice how you feel in your body. 
Is there any view or different sensation? And being open to all the possibilities, your body, your uniqueness. Gently, if you want, bring in your hands, roll in your spine. Ah, and bring back to your lap. Congratulations to have practiced this exercise and to have taken care of your body today. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Enjoy being unique. Enjoy being you. You are beautiful. Thank you. Merci. Namaste.